Hello everybody, my name is Zookmar and this is Hot La Mode. Today on Hot La Mode, I am going to be talking about some interesting stuff that regards Black History Month and the fashion industry. And I did videos like this last year where I did like really detailed um, historical videos on some people that are African American and some people that are in the fashion industry but this year i just don't really have time to do that and it, it, i i like between school starting and i'm trying to study abroad in london and that's really hectic slash my job and my internship and homework and stuff it's gotten really hectic to like really have to sit down and plan out a video like that and i just wasn't prepared for it so it's for no other reason than i just there's just not a lot of time for me to be able to do that but I still wanted to do a video talking about some really, really amazing black people who have made such amazing waves in the industry who are literal industry like legends. Um, and so also just because there's a lot going on in the United States right now and it's really hectic and crazy and I just thought we need to like continue to promote really amazing people of color in this country and so that's just what I thought I would do here. So, just a couple of people that I've just been thinking about. Pat Cleveland, I don't know if any of you know who she is, but Pat was this really amazing model. She still is an amazing model, and she has a daughter named Anna Cleveland, who is currently a model. But Pat grew up in New York, and she became a model, and she was with, I think it's called Ebony Magazine, which is still now a, a quite large magazine for the black community in the United States, but she with all these other young african-american women would go and do these trunk shows when she was a young girl like 14 years old and she was the most amazing model she then you know she met people like muhammad ali and she just traveled the country and then finally she got booked i think it was at wilhelmina i think she was at wilhelmina i don't i can't remember exactly was, I'm, i didn't finish her book but i read most of it she has an amazing book called like Pat Cleveland something look her up you'll find it so then Pat got signed to an agency they started saying you're not gonna get stuff in America they're just not gonna book you so go to Europe and so she went to Europe and she then started hanging out with that Vogue editors they were sketching her because she was a model and then also um, Diana Vreeland was like go you know go to England go to Paris go to Milan they'll take you they want they want the like, beautiful women of color and so she went with designers like Halston and Anne Klein and she did this thing called the Battle of Versailles I don't know if any of you know what it is but it's this really amazing story that you should definitely check out where designers like Yves Saint Laurent and you know Karl Lagerfeld were pitted against people like Anne Klein and Halston and they had a battle and the French were very very boring compared to the Americans who really told a show with their clothing and they the Americans became a hit so then after that which Pat Cleveland starred in she was getting love from people like Karl Lagerfeld she was doing Karl Lagerfeld when he was at Chloe she just became so popular and everybody loved her and it was amazing and then there's also people like Stephen Burroughs, who's this amazing fashion designer from the 70s. Uh, Pat Cleveland definitely was in a lot of his shows. He had his own whole section at Bergdorf's at one point when he was really popping. His clothing is amazing. You have to check it out. It's like, it's like you literally just took like acid. You're on an acid trip. It's insane and cool and lovely. He's actually one of the only, I think he's the only designer still alive that participated in the Battle of Versailles. Also, you have people like Andre Leon Talley, who's a literal icon, not only in the fashion industry, but also like culturally, just, I mean, a famine of beauty is literally the quote of the September issue. I don't know if you guys, you guys should know who he is if you subscribe to me, but Andre was and still is kind of a contributing editor at Vogue. He was, at, he still is Anna Wintour's right hand man. He does a lot of work, you know, culturally for Vogue and Condé Nast. He also helped to like put people like John Galliano on the map. 
when he was trying to go to LVMH and Givenchy and Dior, he, Andre Lantali, set up the dinners between Anno and Tor and Galliano. And I know Galliano isn't the greatest person in the entire world, but like Andre still did that before Galliano went off the deep end. So also then you have people like I have another one. Who is it? It's somebody. Somebody easy. Oh, you have people like Virgil Abloh who in reality put out an amazing, amazing, amazing menswear collection. Um, I mean, personally, I'm not like, oh my god, it's amazing. But it's menswear, it's cool, it does take inspiration from the street, it does take inspiration from, you know, he, like, makes it American. He is a great American designer, I think. There are so many amazing African-American people in the industry. You have, um, Maxwell Osborne, who does public school, who is an, I mean, they're not fantastic, but, I mean, I kind of like those DKNY collections. Um, so many people that are, you know, pushing the boundaries of the industry, you have, I think the, I don't know what her name is, but she's, like, the editor-in-chief of Teen Vogue. She's, like, 26, and she's an amazing, 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 you know, woman. I think she was, like, the beauty editor, and then the editor-in-chief of Teen Vogue left and she took over and her digital content is fantastic. I think if you have not seen any of the Teen Vogue coverage of the Trump presidency or the election, you need to look at it because it's so beautiful and amazing and like she's just doing a fantastic job. So yeah, there's so much, there's so much variety. You guys just have to, we have to look at, we have to look for it. Um, it's there. It really is there and it's amazing and cool and lovely. Um, I will link some of the things that I enjoy or the people that I can find in the description below. Please let me know if anybody that you know that does an amazing, amazing thing. Um, and also just let me know what- you, give me some video ideas because that's what I kind of really want. Like some nice ideas of what you guys are looking for that I should talk about because then I can do that and just bang them out and get them there for you. So thank you guys for watching. Happy Black History Month. So amazing. So, so, such a great month. Also, it's my birthday. So, I mean, like, the two of them mixed together. It's fantastic. So thank you guys for watching and TTYL.